Now watch this for a shot. You ready? Let's see if it does it. There you go. <laughs> hey, here you go. There's no way that Ben beats Beaker. I mean, Beaker's an hard fight, even at 40 year old. 40 year old against a 55 year old who's not fought for over 23 years. Come on. Who was, who was going to come back before and it got abandoned? Uh, Steve, Steve Collins. Steve. Well, this is the thing, who's going to license him? I don't know, mate, I don't know. I don't know, but... Uh, they this wouldn't give, um, they didn't give Rhea Ferdinand a license, did they? No, I was sat with Charlie Giles in a casino last week from... Uh, wait, last week or two weeks ago, and we got speaking about licences and a lot of questions that I put to him. He said, Porky, I couldn't possibly answer that, but I did ask him, I said, Well, what about Real Ferdinand? He said, I refused him a licence. I said, Did you? He said, Yeah, I refused him. I said, Would you give Robin Reed a licence? He said, No, I won't. I said, Oh, he says, Nigel Ben's been knocked back as well. I said, But he's got one. He said, Yeah, but not off them. So they, they, they didn't licence it. Uh, but he, but yeah, he gave. Who did they give a license to now? And everybody was shot. Freddie Flintoff. They get him one, didn't they? It. Hey. Yep. They get him. The wheel out some sort of like club fighter as well, something. Yeah, Freddie Flintoff won, didn't he? He were awful, won he? But he did win, didn't he? So uh, it's one of them things, isn't it? But getting back to Nigel Ben. It can only point to one thing, is he got financial problems. Otherwise, why would you risk your health against Beaker? Why would you do well, that? Um, well, when he's son, have you seen who, have you seen who Connor's fighting? Who's he fighting? Laszlo Toth. What box rank ranking is he? Uh, 63. 63 on box ranking, is he undefeated? No, he's lost five times. So what's Conor Ben on box rec? I don't know, but what have the WBA got him as? Six, wait, what well, other week, wasn't it? He's not fought since, he was ranked six, wasn't he? And then seven, yeah, I don't know if he's yeah. in top ten now, but there were a big furor yeah. over it, weren't there? Who's he beat? Conor Ben went life and death with P&O, didn't he? Twice, didn't he? Got dropped twice, didn't he? Yeah, he had two fights with him as well, didn't he? But I had the first fight, you could say it were a draw, couldn't you? You could give him a draw at best, couldn't you? But they gave him, the, the, they gave him a decision, didn't they? But I don't know, I mean, I've heard a story that Conor Ben's got a contract whereas if he managed to get a belt and a ranking, that he's, he gets paid out X amount from people behind him, sponsors and that, so that's all good for him and that, innit? But when you're fighting guys that are not round about your rank and it's no good. I mean, he's ranked, he were ranked higher than Broner, wasn't he, at one point. Wasn't Broner number nine and he were number six or something like that. Broner were, <laughs> w, I know that's four weight world champion. Uh, don't quote me on that, you probably have to have a look on that, but if you if you go on to yeah, Google, you can put the, all the rankings come up from all the sanctioning bodies, don't they? And you can look down and then you can see who's at the same level or who's below Conor Ben and then you see that he's fighting guys that are really poor. And I don't agree with things like that, because he's dining out on the Ben name, isn't he? And he ain't even got a jab, to be honest, has he? But who am I to, who am I to uh, be critical? Let's try and be positive. But, uh, if, his name was, if his name was Ian Smith, he Ian wouldn't even Smith. get any coverage. Ian Smith from Canuck. <laughs> he wouldn't get any coverage, would he? No, he won't. No, he won't. No. He won't. Uh, what can you do? It's... Uh, what else is happening in the world of boxing, Dale? Well, I'd just like to um, say that where's Darren Barker for Dave Allen there? Darren Barker, I don't know, he seems to have disappeared. The man that retired Lee Purdy and Dave Allen. He's only is it, Are they the only two fighters he's been involved with? Lee Purdy, at the end of his career, he went and did his last fight, didn't he? And Darren, and, or one of his last fights, and... 
Dave yeah, Allen. But it, it, you know, we didn't. He didn't. He didn't train Dave Allen all camp. No, all he, he didn't. was there to do was pick up his paycheck. Well, he's he's well in at Matchroom, isn't he, uh, Darren Barker? He's married into the Matchroom fold. Oh, he's got it all crushed in there, then, isn't he? He's what? He's got it nicely crushed in there. Yeah, yeah. Job for life, mate. He's what? Job for life. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's got a job for life, by the sounds of it. But I don't think that... Uh, I don't think Darren Barker's ever going to make it as a trainer. He's, I don't, I don't think so. And I, don't, and I, I can understand why Dave had, had him involved because I even said to Dave, you need somebody to get word to Eddie Earn. You'd start training at a gym, and get let, let Eddie Earn know that he's serious about it, Dave. And I think he went with Adam Booth, Dave, for a couple of days, and it didn't work out with Adam Booth. So he's obviously gone to Barker then, and Barker's got Earn's ear, hasn't he? So, well, but the it, with, with the bark situation, it would have been well. You you can beat my corner on the noise, pick up your ten percent, and I'll put a good word into Eddie for you. Yeah, that what that will be what it is. Yeah, that'll be what it'll be. That's how it works. I don't know what he got. I'm not even interested in him. He's not my cup of tea, Darren Barker. Uh, he's one of them people that preaches everything good about Matcham and don't say a word. You know, there's too many of them people with a snaff, with their noses in the trough at Matchroom, uh, that hover around the Matchroom and Sky setup, that, 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 that got the noses like, like that in the pig trough, and uh, they, they, they just basically they, 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 they praise everything that Adam Smith and Eddie Earn do. You know, we know where them people are, we don't even say their names, they're not even worth mentioning, they're not even real people. They mention it, they, they big up everything Matchroom and they hammer anybody else like Barco hammered Anthony Yard and Sunday Ajayi, didn't he? Hammered them. But yet, we all know what happened with, about Dan and Barker when he went to fight in Germany, don't we, Dale? I'll let you have the floor for this one. Tell them what happened. Well, he was injured all camp, didn't train. Didn't run. Just made weight. Yeah. Mate, he, he turned, turned up, made weight, took his paycheck, didn't tell any of the He came out that. swingers though, didn't he, in round one? Came out swingers Wait. like Rocky against B.A. Baracus, wasn't it? Or Glubber Lang. Came out swingers, realised he couldn't do the do, and then held on to his hip, didn't he? Disgusting. And then told everybody that he didn't train, and only made weight and didn't run and all that, bragging about it with his check. But said, but I'm not going to enforce the rematch because I'm straight as they come and I don't want to abuse the fans. Oh my God! We're not worthy, Darren Barker. We're not worthy. You're not enforcing the rematch. But you've just had fans paying to go to Germany to watch you and you've just took over a million quid out of coffers and sold your belt. We're not worthy to be in your presence, Darren Barker. We are not worthy to be near you. Let me just stand near you, Darren Barker, and inhale the same air as you. Unbelievable. But like He's I said, right. Matchroom well, Boxing. Today, matchroom Boxing, the company that just keeps giving. Fought fans, Eddie. Fought fans. You what, uh, Dale? Well, he's not. where is he now today, Valen? Where is what? Where is he now today, Valen? I don't know where Dave Allen is. Nobody, nobody seems to see see much of him now. He's probably in bits that he's. I mean, what has it? What has happened to Dave Allen? He's been refused a license. About he's been used. He's what? He's been used. He's been used. I mean, Dave shouldn't have been nowhere near Lewis Ortiz. I mean, what what were going on there? And Dillian White, and then them other guys he's fought. He shouldn't have been anywhere near Yoka. them. Hey. Yoka. Yoka. He shouldn't have been in there with David Price. He shouldn't have what? He shouldn't have been in there with David Price. He's never won an area belt. Now, Dave Allen doesn't own a belt, does he? He doesn't, uh, he has, he's never, I mean, what level is Dave Allen at? I mean, he's a tough kid, we know that, don't we? But he's been used, he's only a young kid, isn't he? But what level is David at? What level would you say he is? Small ball. No, I mean, what is he? Area, English, British, Commonwealth, European, or world? 
his area level, yeah? Cash Alley, uh, who's in our stable, he's won an area belt, so he, he's area level. So does Dave Allen beat Cash Alley? No. I don't think he beats him. I think Cash beats him on points. Unless Dave brings that over and right on and catches him, but the same age. Cash Alley and Dave Allen are the same age. Can you see Dennis putting Cash Alley in fights that some fights that Dave Allen's had? Would you, Cash Alley's 15 and 1, isn't he? Dave's 17, 5 and 2. Can you see Cash Alley being put in fights like Dave Allen's been put in just for the sake of it? I mean, what sort of people are giving Dave Allen advice? Who's to blame? Is it Dave Allen? Yeah, he's got to take responsibility. Mick Marsden's got to take responsibility. Oh. Darren Barker's got to take responsibility. Uh, hey, Peter dude. Fury can't because he was still undefeated when he left Peter. So, Eddie. Dennis can't take responsibility, he will undefeat when he left Dennis. Eddie earn has got to take responsibility. These people have to, have to put their hands up and say, do you know what, Dave Allen's got his brain scrambled. He's had his brain scrambled by serious men. Now, Yoka, who got him that fight, who, who got him that fight, was it David A? Uh, through Richard Schaefer, were it Eddie Hearn? I don't know, but he fought Yoker when he should have fought on our show in Newcastle, but he did, he didn't, well, he didn't do any tickets. He didn't do an handful of tickets, so he didn't end up going to fight. So why should he fight when he's, when he's done no tickets? But that's his fault. But Dennis and Jaffa put him on the show because he was a big ticket seller, but obviously he weren't, were he? I mean, that were up North East, so... But Dave said on Twitter, that he was driving about round, uh, he was driving around, he was driving about round Newcastle or walking about round Newcastle and people were stopping him in the street and that, well they obviously weren't when he was on our show because he didn't do a ticket. So where's this Dave Allen big ticket seller, I don't know, is it a myth? Is it a myth? Or, uh, or, or what, what's going on? Is it just social media? Is social media full of people who don't go to boxing shows and don't buy tickets? Probably, yeah, because there's a lot of people have a lot to say on social media, especially Twitter, that don't go to five shows a year. They have a lot to say. A lot to say. Now, people might give me some harsh words about that, but... People say they go to so many shows a year, but do they really go to shows? How many people really come up to me at shows and say, I'm so-and-so from so-and-so, Russ, and I always email you and tweet you, and, I, and, I, and I'm hardcore. Well, hardcore, you don't get your hardcore badge just tweeting and watching it on telly. You gotta go to shows. Now, does Dave Allen do a lot of tickets? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. A lot of people might tweet and he might get a lot of views on Twitter because he's funny, but ticket seller? No, I ain't buying it. Not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. I'm not buying it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I know, I know he done. I know he done. So, but I do know that he does views on IFL because he does quirky stuff, doesn't it? And I wish him all the best. My kid's mum likes him. My kid's When's like him. Time? When's the last time Coogan did a small hall show? They don't do them, do they? They don't do them. They don't do small hall shows. They're not interested, are they? They're not interested. They've got a core base of people, as I've just said to you, of between 20 and 26 people, the same old people that they interview. You look at Coogan's... Uh, Look at some of the people that he interviews that are not any of them 26 people. They don't do views. It's not it's not beneficial for them to do that because they're running it as a business, aren't they? They're not like me that can just get away with doing what I want. They have to, they, he has people to pay. And to be fair to Coogan Cassie, he's a hard worker. But they don't they do not do it small. They don't go to small or shows. They're not going to go to Mick Wales, are they? And, 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 and give that some public PR when they can be going to Eddie Earn's shows. Because he's probably got a lot of odd reds, but now, but he could send somebody, couldn't he? Like Omar, I have fellow Omar, but they're not gonna do, are they? <laughs> Omar, I have fellow Omar. I mean, God. Uh, well, oh where's God. he come from, him? I mean, what's all that about? Fuck, no, uh, he's fucking shit as well. <laughs> 
Well, they're trying, aren't they? So you've got to give them respect for trying. But I want to see these people go to small old shows, go to your call. I mean, that your call show that Francis Warren put on a few weeks ago, we, uh, Dean, I think we don't know his second name, he says he's Dillian White's brother, but he in, but he, one of his fighters won a belt, oh, and that show, the, that show were fantastic. The Lucian Reed fight was brilliant. That show Francis Warren put on there, right? Best one I've seen for. Pfft. I said to Daddy, "Did you watch that?" He goes, "Francis will be buzzing with that. That was a really good show." And uh, I could see Francis watching that, and he was preening like a peacock after it. And too right as well, you know, because boxing's an hard enough game as it is. But I think that's probably the way forward. Uh, the small all shows, pack them out. And let's move it forward like that because this bubble's going to burst with these arena fights soon. It's going to burst, and if Louise beats Joshua and then goes and fights Wilder, all them belts will be in America for a long time. They'll have that much power. So technically, yeah. I want Joshua to win. But if Louise beats Joshua, I mean Eddie Hearn's already coming out with excuses now, isn't he? He's saying, listen. Uh, uh, Tyson Fury against Joshua is a great fight without any belts. So they know after that after that fight with Louise that they're in an hard fight, don't they? Eddie's already writing the script now as if to say, listen, we're getting ready to fight Tyson Fury in England next summer, and I'm telling you now that fight's going to happen next June, f m end of May, maybe June. And I'm telling you now, Frank Warren won't be involved in it. It'll be Tyson Fury, Bob Arum, Eddie Hearn, Joshua. There'll be no Frank Warren. That'll be on Matchroom, I'm telling you now. Wembley. Wembley, and it'll be Billy Joe. It'll be on Undercard, Chief Support, against somebody else. It'll be 25 quid, and that's what it'll be, and the people will pay it, because it's just a massive fight. One big blast, one big blast, blast on the pay-per-view. Yeah, that'll be it. It'll be one big blast, and, and it'll be a rematch as well. That's what they'll do, and that'll be it. Tyson will probably have another couple of fights. It'll be Joshua because he knows it's mega money. I mean, that's setting generations of families up and probably private jet money, and it'll be mega money. And Eddie Hearn's probably the only promoter that could pull that off. I think so. And and it's, and it'll be gearing up for that. There won't be any problems leaving Frank because his contract's over with, and plus he's with uh, MTK, isn't he? So there'll not be there'll not be any problems with him leaving uh, Frank Warren. Well, he's already left him technically, and he cuts contracts up. But that's what I think's going to yeah, happen. I could be wrong. Getting sky, man. Yeah, you what? MTK well in the sky. Yeah, they're going to be, aren't they? And, you know, Frank's going to be on outside looking in, which is a shame because you break Frank Warren in half, he is boxing, isn't he? He bleeds boxing. And he always comes back, doesn't he? But he's got Dubois up his sleeve, hasn't he? That's all he's got up his sleeve now if Tyson goes. He'll be building everything around Dubois. And which is good, isn't it? And Joyce and Dubois, but he'd like to have Tyson in mix, but you can already see the writing's on the wall now, can't you, with Tyson and Frank? But, you know, I did say this, but everybody said, Ah, oh, Porky, you're a hater. Porky, you're a hater. You know? Oh, they're going to say, Porky, he's going to Adam Booth! <laughs> you listen to Ultra Tech Sports Raw? Listen to Ultra Tech Sports Raw. He is the man. He is my peer. He's one of my he peers. Me. Eh? He blocked. Me. Ultra Tech, Uncle Ultra, come on, unblock Dale Nichols. Why has he blocked you? He's alright, Ultra. Yeah, because I called him out on something before and he doesn't like someone arguing back with him. Yeah, I'd like to see him uh, come, in, come out and sit in front of the camera on that, but I can understand why he don't want to because he should come and have a look at some of the things that I get sent. And But I can understand that, but if you're not, you have to take it as water off a duck's back criticism, don't you? Because if we're we're not gonna. It's one of them things, isn't it? It's, it's part of social media. You put your son out there. You're gonna. You've got to take the criticism because there's people who don't have, really have jobs and they want an eight all the time, don't they? On you and obviously you get people who work in boxing industry and they want to fire back on their other accounts. But 
You gotta take it as a pinch of salt. It's boxing, isn't it? But we don't you don't get this other football do you? because everybody plays each other, don't they? But in boxing the rules are there to be manipulated, aren't they? This is why uh we love the sport so much, Dale. <laughs> What do you think to uh, Bean, Rudder Bean, could have been, should have been, never been, baked Bean? What do you think to Mr. Bean lately? Do you think he's going to get caught? Do you think he's going to get remanded? Well, he's a little bit sheepish, isn't he? And, you know, he's putting these pay per views on. He's sanctioning all these pay per views. He's, he's obviously thinking, let's have one last run at this for my retirement fund. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You're probably right there, Dale. You're probably right. Bean is probably... Uh, he's probably on bonus, I'd say, Bean. He's got to be because... How could you sanction all this? I mean, he's saying that if Sky weren't going to put this on, somebody else would have snapped it up. Uh, I don't really think Frank Warren would have snapped it up, to be honest. I don't. Honestly, he would have been so embarrassed. I mean, what, 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 is this setting a dangerous present, this, this KSI Logan Paul thing? Because what if it does well? What then? Does that mean this is where, this is how boxing's gonna go? I mean, is this, I mean, we're already talking of Andrew Oliver, Oliverfield coming back, but he can fight, but is this, is this how it's gonna go, this white collar thing, and we're gonna, I don't know it. What does it say about all these kids that are putting the time in as proper boxers and, they're not going to get the paydays that these clowns are getting, and that's what they are, clowns. What, what, what's going to... I mean, you can't put KSI Logan Paul on as a white collar if you've got a promoter's licence. So Eddie's told them they've got to go pro, on it to get the money. You can't... It's like Dennis can't put a white collar on. Can't do it. What well, being funny, though, right? In this, in this scenario, I'm not going to sit here and, and say that Francis Warren and Frank Warren can get on their high horse because... Fox Nation went all out two and a half years ago to get Mayweather McGregor, which is every bit as bad. No, they're two fighters though, aren't they? You've got one a world yeah, champion at UFC and one at uh, boxing, aren't you? Yeah, but this, 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 fight, this fight here, this KSO Logan Paul, that's more even and more fair and not less of a mismatch than what McGregor Mayweather was. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. And Box Nation put millions on the table to get that fight. What, to put McGregor... Mayweather on? Mayweather McGregor, yeah. They put, yeah. They, put, they put 10 million down on the table for it. Yeah, and they didn't get it. Did it earn out with them, did they? Well, um, I think Mayweather's preference was to go with Sky, weren't he? Yeah, because he'd been on Sky before, hadn't he, with Hatton. And, yeah, and uh, Pacquiao. Pacquiao, yeah, so it tried and tested playing it safe, aren't they? Uh, I don't know, mate, but if it does well, I mean, Eddie, Eddie Earn's going to be unbearable, isn't he? And young Frank Smith with the spots. How you doing, Frank? Execute them. <coughs> Execute them, Frank. Then, pal. Good to chat, anyway. Yeah, no problem, mate. Nice um, to speak to you, uh, Dale. Family and everything all right? Yeah, yeah. How's that hot good, chick uh, you're living with? You bought an house, haven't you? <laughs> Mike, you bought an old house, haven't you? Nice house. Are you happy and all yeah, loved up? Yeah, yeah, go, going on all day again in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you've got a good life, you down there, Dave. Still got that red, red little car. That's the one, yeah. Well, you're not messing about here, you Wolverhampton Wanderers fans. Were you a Steve Bull fan back in the day? Bit, bit before my time. Bully and Andy Mutch. Bully and Andy Mutch, they were up front, up front, weren't they, for Bulls back in the day? Best player of all time. Steve Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Dale. <laughs> hey, listen, you take care, mate. Keep on trucking and uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow, probably, or something. All right, mate. See you, later. See you mate. Bye-bye. That was uh, Dale Nichols at Dale the Great X on Twitter. Give him a follow. Uh, he's a proper deep person with boxing. I thought I were deep at times, but there you go. You've just heard statistics there 34 pay per views from Audley Harrison to 
Joshua Ruiz 2. 34 pay-per-views in the Eddie Hearn era and 30 Eddie Hearn pay-per-views in that period since he's had the exclusive deal. And how many pay-per-views have really had good value? Count them on one hand, can't you? So, maybe five or six. Uh, that's two hands, by the way, that you, for you who can count. Three of them were frotch fights, weren't they? Two gross fights and Kesler won. That's it. Bell, you had four pay-per-views and none were really any good, were they? Uh, David A. Oh. David A against Audley Harrison, shocking. David A against Vladimir, Togate. David A. Harrison, they didn't throw a punch. And what about the other one? Two Bellu ones. Costco to David A. Giving the fans what they want. But, uh, but now I just. Uh, I think pay per view has gone crazy. And I'm sick of it. But. You know, I'm not waging a one-man war against them because for the views I get, pff, it's peeing in wind, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But at least we're an honest channel. There's a lot of channels out there that, let's just say, they're, they're not as honest as what they're making out, should I say. But good luck to them all. It's all good stuff, in it? A lot of double agents about. Uh, well, I'm going to go over home now and we we'll the door, we we'll turn this off, and then when I walk through that door, a milkshake, and I'm going to go for a game of snooker, I'm going to go back out again. Oh. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, shout out to Innovation Alloys and Climate Cool Air Conditioning Company. Alright. Oh. Peace out. Let me see if I can get it this time, third time lucky. <laughs> I got it, third time lucky. Oh, lucky that it's not. Uh, camera won't have a proper pocket, won't it? Let's have a look, see if I got it. Left-handed. That was about that for a shot then. I'll play anybody watching this, anybody, 50 quid a rack in Doncaster. Come and see me, 50 quid a rack, anybody. I'll play left-handed for a tenner a rack as well. See, check side off at the bottom, cush there. Hey. Porky power. Half an hour, then we'll go. All right, cheer up, cheer up. Another half an hour, we'll go.
stuff from old culture. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, look at that for a shot. Look at that for a shot. Terrible shot. <laughs> Terrible shot, not a proper one. Right then, to finish off with little Tom concentration. All right, now right, watch the cue ball. We're not doing anything stupid. All right, just little stun shots. You see, because you hit it too hard, look, little stun. Look, little stun shots, that's all they are. We're wanting to bottom now. There you go. And then the last one. Right, that's me done. Come on. I'm going for a pint of orange. <laughs>